Hello. Welcome to this. It's not a meditation. This is a funny hypnotizing exercise. So you can either want to be hypnotized for this or just want a big laugh, Joe. Because trust me, when you're doing it, when you're doing the hypnotizing, it sounds like calming and relaxing and, and it'll help you get hypnotized. But if you're listening as a, as a viewer, it sounds insanely funny because it just do very peculiar things. So, so please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with all your friends who need to laugh or also need to be hypnotized. So close your eyes, deeply close them eyes. Your eyes need to be closed, you need to be calming down from a day of harsh work. Just calm down. Now, lie down or sit up in any comfortable position you want, whether it's popping a squat or whatever that thing is. And now I'd like you to reach your hand up and up into the air. So high, in fact. Reach your hand up so high, in fact, that your hand just starts feeling extremely sore. And make sure that your eyes are closed and that you're breathing in through your eyes and that your nose is closed. Now imagine an apple. What do you like about an apple or what do you hate about an apple? Because we are now eating an apple or any fruit of your choice, in fact. But anyway, if you fall deeper into relaxation, you're going to take this apple, feel your mouth water, smell the smell of not much of a smell because apples don't really have much of a smell. Now as you hear those raindrops fall, you smell some misty things. This is actually not a video, this is completely natural rain sound, you're outside, it's raining pretty heavy here. Um, so close your eyes and get make sure your arm is so high and use the other one and just use it to take that apple of yours, put it in your mouth, and then make sure that your mouth goes into your, your hand goes into your mouth kind of a little bit, just to the point where you can bite your fingers off. Then what you're going to do next is calm and relax and relax and relax and relax and fall you're now starting to get into the beginning of hypnotization or therapy or whatever the hell that is anyway I'd like you now to calm down and just calm down okay just please calm down if you don't, none of this is going to be useful, and you should just go kill yourself and drive off another cliff. Anyway, I'm going to be silent for the next minute. And re relax. I'm going to try and be silent. I'm not sure I can't be. Just sit down. Get in a comfortable position. Relax. Get hypnotized. You are now feeling to start getting into hypnotization or therapies. This kind of therapy is great if you want to kill yourself and you want to die. Anyway, now feel that apple. Feel before it even goes into your mouth. Your mouth start to water. Do you feel that? Now... Now, if you can make yourself imagine an apple, imagine something even bigger. Birthday cake! Yay! Okay, um, so you take this piece of birthday cake, your mouth waters so much that there's spit dropping out of your mouth like rain. And just relax, though. Drooling a little bit, though, also means that you're happy. 
And if you're not drooling, then you're obviously in some kind of depression. So, if you're not drooling, make sure that you're that you get some antidepressant medication to help you. Because if you're not drool, if you never ever drool, if you haven't in the last two seconds, then you're probably either deeply depressed or dead. Or you have some kind of disorder that doesn't let you drool. Anyway, just calm down, relax. Now, there is some weird crap on your cake. You take it off, your finger feels so gross that you put it right in the rain. You throw it so hard because you're so adrenaline rushed that you don't realize that you're on the top on the top of a huge building. And it falls down and pierces completely through someone's head. You don't realize at the time that what you just threw down was a big, big bullet. It's not actually a bullet. It was more like a coin, but it pierced someone's head and went completely into their body. Luckily, it didn't kill them. You see the mark on their head, though. Their life will never be the same just because you were completely insane. Their life will never be the same. They will never, ever be allowed to go to New York City because their mind will stop them. Now, it's a happy night tonight, right? Do you think it's a happy? Sad. Medium. Medium-ish. Not medium. One to another. Swingy. Rude day. What kind of day was it? Was it bad? Don't be mad at them. Don't be sad at them. That's just life. And life, my friends, or my enemies, or whoever is watching, is a terrible thing, unless you drool. And I know, since I'm not drooling, I'm either dead or have depression. I'm an anomaly, because I don't have either. Anyway, as you're falling into this trance, just remember to sleep. This is the equivalent of getting, if you get 15 minutes of hypnotizational therapy, you're hypnotized for an, uh, two hours, it's like getting eight hours of sleep. That's why I'm betting no one in the world ever does this, but if I test if technically you can make yourself hypnotized, then you just do that for two hours, set an alarm, wake yourself up. And tell it, make yourself be happy. Now I'm gonna tell you a couple of things. Now, now start just standing up. Put your head down. Start drooling all over your floor and carpet. Now as the rain starts falling on you, you forget that you're about to fall off this building and die. If you don't wake up. But you don't wake up. You just go off back and slide glumly. Thinking, oh god, what's going on with me? I mean, why am I suddenly imagining I'm on some weird cliff? It's okay. I've never been there. But I know a couple of people have. Now this real depression fall over you and let this rain cleanse your body by making your hair and putting dirt all over you, making your hair wet, making your clothes wet, going right into your body, cleansing it because it's actually falling and it's 
moisturizer and it's cleansing your body but not your clothes your clothes are so dirty it's almost like a kind of joke that I will not even mention because it's more inappropriate than the F word it's actually not inappropriate at all I just don't want to say it now because it'll take away the mere trance because trance isn't a word. Trance is a word of conversation, of translation, of happiness, of goodness, of kindness, of happiness, and helpfulness, and rudeness, and anger, and meanness, and listness, and is LDSs. You want to relax now. If your mind is not relaxed, then you've committed a crime. Just think, meditation is not just a state of mind, it is an act. It's only as safe as you, as your ability to keep it. You need to keep up the good work, the hard work, the important work, the teamwork, the dream work. Just think about what today was like for you. Was it Christmas Eve day? Was it the last day of school? And for until when until 2021? Was it the first full day of winter break? Or are you some adult who really doesn't care about winter break like kids do? And you really don't think this is so special? I feel you. And yet I don't because I've never known what it's been like to be an adult and I won't for another like four or five years. Well technically six or actually technically five years, but I think your job is to go drive off another cliff. Now imagine you're driving off the cliff. The car goes, falls off the cliff, relaxes you as you see your head fly off your head, your head fly off your neck, then you see your neck disappear and your whole body disappear, and yet you can control some weird thing and you see this weird cord going from your head to the rest of your body, and you're able to control it. And you hit someone, and then they look at you, and then they faint. But realistically, that is impossible. Improbable. Really dumb and idiotic to ever drive off a cliff. If you ever drive off a cliff, that's just insane. Now you're deep into a trance. You're deep, deep into this trance. Into this trance. This trance. It's deepening your mindset. Your trance is exploding. You're starting to feel more transified or whatever that word is supposed to be. 
and feeling just calmer and more relaxed and just better off. Now, on this December 24th night, if you're watching live, in whatever night or time, daytime, midday, nighttime, evening time, sleep time, right dead in the middle of your sleep, that you're listening to this. I'd like you to know something. I'm playing slime right now, and it's not that fun. I wouldn't be doing it if I, if, if I hated it. Oh, now, here it comes. Here's the part where Doc's gonna get really weird. Get real and stop dancing. And yes, that's not ever happening. I've never been like that except when I make my meditation. But I will so even this monotone because it is really weird and creepy. Anyway, take up an instrument. That was just now, but really, take up an orange or watermelon. Take it up. Feel your mouth, your tongue, water. By the way, your hands should still be raised up high in the sky. Like I said in the first three minutes, and I never am going to give you a break here. So anyway, just feel your tongue and mouth start to fill up with sacks and sacks of water. As you swing the food, you pick it up, and it comes closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to your mouth. Now, the rain stopped. Boy. Oh, it's starting to drizzle again. Agree? Do you, do you agree with me that the weather is not that good today? Do you agree with me? The weather is not that good today. Tomorrow, though. Remember. Tomorrow is a word used to describe the next day that's coming. Now, I like to use that in a different way. Be really rude to people and say, maybe you screwed up everything today, but tomorrow's your chance. Yeah, and it's really rude when I do that to people because it's just rude. Rude. Screws of food. Now, get out of your trance. Wake up. Wake up. Now. Now, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this video with all your friends. I'm just going to leave you with the one last message. Stay on for my next video. It is an elect my first elect my second election out of America. First one was Bill Clinton beat Donald Trump. Next one, you can just go and see. As either it's already been videotaped a long time ago for you or a little while ago or it's coming up live in a couple minutes. Or maybe it's now. I'm not exactly sure. 
Goodbye.